What's up, people? What's up, Aqua Sakura? All right, we're back in here. We're doing silver stuff. We're doing we're doing silver story mode stuff. Um, we actually got a lot of headway in the first part. We completed way more than I thought we were gonna complete for the first half. And because of that, I'm gonna do this BS side mission. Hey. We heard screams came from uh, the running. It doesn't seem like we can handle. I'm sorry, uh, but can you take Anna somewhere safe? Oh God. Is this one of those protect Anna? She knows the secret. Wait a minute. Is this one of those escort missions? Oh God. Nah, no. Yes. It's gonna be one of those things where I gotta like stop her from getting hurt or something. Oh God. I hate this. So I've seen from watching your past stream. So there's only a few enemies near the entrance. Carefully escorting it. Yep, it's a fucking escort mission. Okay, well, this is gonna be BS. I can tell immediately. I feel like Anna's gonna move unnecessarily slow. And I feel like it's gonna be way harder to protect her than need be. Also, who's Anna? I think she's supposed to be like the, the royal, she's like, she's not Elise, obviously. She's like the royal something. She's like the, kind of like what a vizier would be. Oh shit. Oh. oh god. Come on, oh my god, she moves so slow. Oh yeah, this is painful, bro. Oh, this bitch is done. Oh yeah, you're kidding me, right? This is a joke. This has to be. What, what? Come on! Oh no. Where is she? Oh my god! Are you... Bruh. Yeah, this is stupid. Please come on. Please hurry up. Come on. What, what are you? What are you doing? Where are you going? No. Bruh, what? Jesus. There we go. Where is she? Ah, oh, there she is. Go away. At least it's not the case in which you can escort and take no damage whatsoever, otherwise you would fail. Eh, at least she's got a pretty sizable health bar. Dude, what the hell? Why can't I get that ring? Oh my god, please die. I need to ring myself, otherwise this is all pointless. Please come here. They give you no rings. And she's gotten her ass whooped. Oh my god. Give me, give me, give me this. Oh, oh cool, I'm glad he pops out rings. Bruh. What is she doing?
What are you doing? Come on! Oh, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Bruh. Oh good, she healed, kind of. You wanna know what the worst part about all of this is? First of all, she moves dramatically slow. I'm like, the whole point is to, the whole point is to get to the goal, right? Then why is she standing here? What? Go! Like, <laughs> like, these enemies, you fail by having Silver get knocked out. I was trying to, like, so the way Silver Psychokinesis works, Silver has a range of about one feet away from where Silver is in order to make targets, like, hittable. Or to use his Psychokinesis powers around him. Hey. So, I was like, okay, I can just make this enemy paralyzed, throw him, and move on. Because that's usually the fastest way to kill. Because the game wants you to pick up nearby items and throw them at the enemy. The problem is Silver can't aim to save his life. They made an auto aim on the idea that it can work, but it doesn't always work. So what you would normally have to do is just get up in the enemy's face, paralyze them with psychokinesis, and then throw them. But no, obviously that can't work because the enemy launches like very obvious moves and Silver's not Sonic or Shadow. So he can't move fast enough to dodge them. So you're basically gonna get hit. And apparently this game doesn't have enough invincibility frames to hold out. Because normally when you get hit at first, you flash. Which means you're invincible for those couple of seconds. But the game, like, only had one second of invincibility frame. So Silver was vulnerable for, like, that second. Also, why won't this woman move until you've already beaten the enemies? Like, her concern isn't the enemies, it's the destination that we're going to. So why is she worried about the enemies? They've got nothing to do with her. Oh, bruh, what? Oh my god. And obviously I was trying to defeat the red robot so I can kill all the robots and not have to fuck with all of them. But nah. For some reason, again, Silver only has one foot of radius for psychic energy. And he's wide open when he uses psychic attacks. Uh. Oh my god. I'm I'm guessing I'm a guess due to fear, otherwise outside the game this is not well done. I guess the idea is that like she if she sees that there's one enemy in front of her, she's too scared to move forward. Also, what's up, Ryza? Hey. Yeah, the idea, I guess, is that if she sees one enemy, she's too scared to move forward, and thus she'll stay in that one spot. But that makes her more vulnerable. A moving target is always harder to hit than a standing one. So that would influence Anna to move forward more. Your destination is your main priority, not what the fuck Silver's doing. I'm just here to protect you. So why wouldn't on earth would you stay behind because there's an enemy behind? That doesn't make any sense. So in reality, the game just wants you to destroy all the enemies that are in that spot without Anna dying. Which is stupid because, like, again, her main concern is getting to where she needs to be. So logically, she wants to avoid danger. That means get out of the way of where the enemies are. Oh my Where is she? Where is, where is she? 
Ah, ok, ya, ya. Please go away. Let's go. Jesus. Let's go do something about him now. Bruh! Oh my goodness. Silver's wide the fuck open when he's using psychokinesis. It means he's a target for hits. Uh, God damn it. And he doesn't aim. I need you out of my way. This is horrible. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Uh. It's true, we don't have fight or flight reactions. We also have natural reactions to freeze in place when our minds try to figure out the best course of action. Yeah, but look, I've always imagined it like this. If you're afraid of like who's attacking you, hey. naturally you would run away from the danger. Like again, that is fight or flight, like you just stated. In this particular case, if my job is to escort you, that means you're already under the mindset that there's danger around you. So logically, you would wanna avoid said danger. You're the last thing you want to do if somebody's escorting you is to stand the fuck there to make sure you get hit by the the targets that are after you. It just doesn't make any logical sense. Why would you stand there? Get the fuck out of there. My job is to protect you, do or die. So I may die during my mission, but you're not supposed to die. Literally, if I die and you stay safe, I get my mission done regardless. I won't get paid afterwards, but I've done my job. That's how I've always looked at it. Oh my God. What are you aiming at, Silver? I don't even know where she's at anymore. Oh my. Nice. Ah. 
What enemy is over there, Silver? Please help me figure that out. Give me these. Go away. so quickly and you saw that I picked up enemies in the eye in the mindset of okay cool I've got enemies uh, I can throw them at the fucking robots no problem right nah it's silver apparently when he has psychokinesis means just throw it at whatever the fuck you want it really doesn't matter if you hit the enemy just throw them then why even give him the ability to do this you would have had a better chance of just having a homing reticle and letting me shoot shit with like a psychic ball or something. Hey. Like why did they make this Silver's main method of attack? To show the fact that you can move items with Xbox 360 and PS3's graphics or some shit? Like it's not even that impressive. Just have Silver be able to like shoot psychic balls at enemies or something. Hey. Like, Psychokinesis is the dumbest mechanic in this game. Notice how Sonic and Shadow have homing attacks. Why? Because it immediately works. Ugh. Okay. Give me these. Oh, these. There's enemies behind that show up randomly. Oh my god. Come on. I don't know what the fuck you were aiming at, but that wasn't it. I don't know what hit me. There's enemies up here. Let me grab these. Even though Silver can't aim to save his fucking life. I'm surprised. I'm surprised again. It's a three for. What the? Oh my god. What the? I know where these are going. Right here. What are you aiming at, Silver? What are you aiming at? What it? Come on! What are you- Silver, please.
come on! Please just hit him. I don't even know what the fuck that was, but whatever. Come on, bring your stupid ass on! Have you played the spin-off Sonic Dash? Yeah, the phone game, I play it. Yeah, I have it still on my phone. It's it's a it's temple run, so I it's, it's okay, I guess. It exists and thus it is. Alright. Finally, we're done with that bullshit. Ugh. Ugh. Stupid. Yeah, it's just Temple Run with Sonic. It's not, right. I mean, it, it's a, Great. it's a, what, it's literally just, it's a s endless swiping game. I, like, I, I, it's, it that exists. Easy. How did I get a, okay, whatever. Fine. I just, I, so long as I'm done, I don't care. Let's just move on. That was so fucking stupid. What? Wh why? And they're celebrating that she made it. I'm not celebrating that she made it. Honestly, the robots could have destroyed her. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay, cool. That was easy. I think I was supposed to do that side mission. Which is weird, that means it's not a side mission anymore. It's something I'm just supposed to do. Huh, okay, neat. They do put the, in the guys right in front to make it obvious that you're probably supposed to do that, but I did it because I thought it was just gonna be a nice distraction to extend the time a little bit. Let's see. I played the on occasion, but I wish that buying a new character actually made a difference. Oh, for Sonic uh, Dash. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just a toilet. It's just a toilet sitting game. Like, just like you'll sit on the toilet and just play it. It's, it's not really meant to be. They did put the Sonic movie as a skin. Huh. Like, it's not really meant to be like, oh my god, they revolutionized Sonic with this one. It's just Temple Run with Sonic in it. I really don't give a shit enough about that side quest to do it. Although I do know I'm running out of like, I might be done with Silver Story before it's actually time to end it. So I might do a side mission just for the sake of doing it. Eh, fuck it, you know what, he's here. We might as well do it now. What's up with you? Sure, why not? This is gonna frustrate the shit out of me, isn't it? I can feel it. I can straight up feel it. Hey. Alright, let's get it. Oh, this is the Sonic stream. I could share my late Christmas gift that came in the mail, which was the Sonic Encyclopedia. Oh, neat. I am curious to see what's in that.
cool. That's done, I guess. I have not opened it yet. All I know is that it's 30 years worth of Sonic history. I might grab that, actually. I'm curious. I don't know. I'm legitimately curious. Although I wasn't really a fan of, like, video game encyclopedia books, because sometimes if they forget something, then it's weird. What did I get for this? Perfect! Okay, then. That's only because I used the hovering glitch. Honestly, if I didn't, then I'm sure I would have gotten an A on some BS. But I did it, so, fuck yeah. Okay. I don't get why the game, uh, I don't get why does the game load one text of dialogue, then go back to the loading screen again. Because the, the talking to the guy and the actually starting the mission are two different, uh, scenarios. So basically when, uh, you're actually doing the mission, the game has to, like, pretty much restart the entire world and make it a set world only for the basically when you're talking with an NPC you're still in hub world mode but when you're trying to actually start the mission the entire hub world gets deleted and in its place is a smaller version of the hub world but only for the mission itself that's what's happening if you're curious but it's got to load all of that, because literally it's shutting the entire hub world down and reopening it back up again. Only this time it's no longer the hub world, it's a mission spy. The trial of friendship. Man, fuck my friends. <laughs> but fuck your friends. Alright, what do we got? Oh, yeah, I, got, I do have to do trials. I should probably have saved. So, yeah, you're talking to the NPC, and then that's in the hub world. Then once you get into the mission, the game is loading the mission. But the guy is giving you the rundown. But rather than make those two one and the same, you're still in hub world mode. So now it's creating the uh, sad KG noises. All right. Save and capture blaze. What the f now. I threw all those boxes at this motherfucker and he stayed alive. Uh, uh what? Bruh. Hey. I threw literally every box, the kitchen sink, and the oven stove at his dumb ass. And he just sat there. What? Oh my god. Hold on. There we go. Hey. Let's do it. Okay, I see what I'm gonna have to do now. It's pissing me the fuck off. Pissing me the fuck off. But that's fine. Hey. Let's get it over with. This cheap bullshit. I'm surprised there wasn't collision between those boxes and the monster. Of course not! That would require the game to actually have good collision detection. Yep, that didn't work. Oh, it took out some health.
What the what? Where'd he go? Let's say they're still here. Fuck you. Fuck both of y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Stupid. Stupid! Stupid! Jesus. The silver just paralyzes opponents before lifting them. What's the static noise that happens as silver performs the psychic abilities? Uh, I believe that's a single right. brain cell he has going to overload. He's trying to aim while, unfortunately, he's cross eye. Uh, so, yes, silver has to stun his opponents before. So the idea is that you use psychokinesis, and once you use psychokinesis, you can uh, put them in a level of stun. Once they're stunned, you can pretty much do whatever you want with them after that. That was easy. I guess I didn't de beat them fast enough. The problem is, the problem is, is that you have to, the fastest method in order for silver to beat opponents is to just stun everything and then just throw it. Cause then it ensures that it dies. They want you to pick up items nearby and pick up the enemy's attacks and use those and throw those against your enemies. The problem with that, one, the items don't do jack shit. They do very little damage. If you're lucky, they may wind up killing them, but you have to throw them all perfectly. Two, silver can't fucking aim. So if you throw the items, they're just gonna fly all over the place, and eventually one may hit the enemy. So none of it works out. None of it. Hey. The second trial is a trial of memory uh, to get your determination. Oh, fuck me. It's a good thing we stream this, so all I have to do is just play it back. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? Alright, what do you got for me? Hey. Uh, test of memory, let's see how good your memory is. I asked three questions from your past. If you can answer them, you'll pass. Got it. What the fuck? Wouldn't my past be their future? I don't know. I think of shit like this all the time. All the time. Alright, answer all three questions from your past. Okay. Hey. First question, what comes to mind with the words future, inferno, and Rowan Teddy? Uh, if you think mission, go to the left. If you think escape, go to the right. What? If you think mission, go to the right. If you think escape, go to the left. What? I mean, Crisis City was a mission. Hey. I'm using some type of logic for this. Yeah, Crisis City was a mission. And Silver had to complete his mission. Okay. Hey. Next question. Next question. What comes to mind with the words Flames of Disaster sealed in 10 years ago? If you say Princess Elise, go to the right. For Blaze, go to the left. Okay, obviously, I mean, it's Princess Elise.
I mean, yeah. Blaze uses fire, but that's not going to be relevant until the end. Okay, perfect. Okay. Last question. What comes to mind with the words blue hedgehog? For hatred, go right. For teamwork, go left. Okay, so obviously we got to work with Sonic this time around, so we're going left. Because he's no longer our enemy. At least that's the logic I'm following. Hey. Yeah! Woo! I think this is it. Alright, good. We're good. We're good. Yes. Well, what do I got? I need to pull it together. What? 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 How? How would? How the fuck? How would you get a better rank for that? Wh what? Wh what? What? Uh, what? What? How the? How the? I, I, th there's no rings in the mission, so you can't get any ring bonuses. And, and, and uh, what? Wh what? Blaze? What the fuck are you doing? Stop! Stop! You did not even waste time on the trial and still got a D. Man, I don't hey. care. Trial of heart. Let's do it. The test of heart. The hell does that even mean? How, how the fuck did I? What the fuck? <laughs> Deepest fears, you need to battle enemies without using any objects. Oh, what? I don't use objects anyway. Fuck. I don't use objects. It doesn't matter. Watch Silver wind up picking an object up on accident because it's nearby him and I failed the mission. I feel like this is the type of game that would do that. All right, let's go. I'm going to guess that the enemy's attacks count as objects. Also, uh, Jeepers, hold up, Jeepers Creepers Sink. Thank you, Jeepers Cre uh, Creepers Sink, for a gift see a t for a gift tier one sub for high prob. There we go. Thank you, Jeepers Creepers. Oh shit. Oh, Wait, do the weapons count? Is it? Do the weapons count as objects? Oh, I guess not. Otherwise, I would have failed. I'm gonna collect these rings. Oh, they're this way. Jesus, you saw all that stuff on screen? Oh, nice. I'm surprised that worked. Aim, Silver. Aim. Move. Oh, wow. I can't believe that worked either. Jesus! Kidding me! Oh my god. 
There we go, Jesus Christ. Was that slow motion a lag? Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Oh, hey, how's it been? Glad to see you. Hey. Welcome to the stream. Also, we just beat that mission. God damn. They're gonna give me a crappy score. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, it's gonna be a D. That took too long. Okay, whatever. You know what? That's exactly what I expected from that. That's exactly what I expected from that. That that that's actually not fine. I'll live with it. Silver sucks at close hand combat anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we'll just move forward for that one. That 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 was that was frustrating. <sighs> yeah. No. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, cool, now I can go through here. But before we do that... There we are. Now we can step in. And ride the almighty eagle. And do Kingdom Valley. At least we don't have a mock speed section. That's been, that's good. Or whatever that's worth. But let's get it. We got work to do. I know there's some cheap stuff that happens during here, though. And they're off. I wish Silver Psychokinesis worked that well in the actual game. You know how useful that would have been? You look like you're in a hurry. So, what's going on? It's all fun games until someone's unfortunate Certain soul gets shit on by that giant bird. I need to rescue the princess. Shit just got real. <laughs> all right, so now we're working with Sonic. I like how Sonic just openly accepts this, by the way. On both occasions that Silver's met Sonic before this, he beat the shit out of Sonic. And now Sonic's just like, okay, all right, he's cool, I guess. Like, in both situations where he met Silver, there have been bad situations. And now suddenly he's just cool with him. Like, from Sonic's perspective, he's just cool with him. He didn't get to see, like, Silver's character arc. Alright, let's go. I should have realized hey. Man's scheme. I'm actually surprised that worked. That means that Silver actually aimed. Silver's vulnerable when he uses his psychokinesis. Where am I going? I guess I'm supposed to go up here. Uh oh. Wait. Am I not supposed to be here yet? Yeah, I'm at a part of the game I'm not supposed to be at yet. Then why even entertain the idea? Ah, oh, I got it. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to do this. Uh, what the, Silver, what? What? Just, just. What the fuck is happening? You psychokinesis on the goddamn steps. What the? What is happening? What? What is he doing? What it? Oh. Just do it myself. I don't need stairs. Okay. Are we locked? We're locked. This event's supposed to trigger the other one, but it can't because 
Super Psychokinesis won't work on the spot where you're supposed to use Psychokinesis. So now we're, we're stuck, bruh. All right. What? Why won't he use psychokinesis on this spot? Wait a second. What the fuck? What? 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 The fuck? Okay. Fuck it. Then why even? What is happening? Oh god. Is there anything of importance up here? No, just infinite falling rocks? Do they spawn back? What is happening? Oh no, there's enemies up here. There's some importance. I just don't know why it's here. What? What is happening? Like, what? I have no clue what's going on right now. Am I supposed to be here? Okay, I see a thing. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for the checkpoint that's right here. Whatever. Oh, wait. What happened to him? I was like, because Silver can't pick up anything. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Just keep going. I don't even care. None of that worked. Apparently, I still got hit, even though the missiles didn't actually hit me. But whatever you say, gang. I got hit by something. Bruh, I'm gonna die. Ah! I'm gonna lose my fucking mind! Nah, fuck that. I could give a shit less about that. Why am I subjecting myself to this? I don't think I can make it. Oh, never mind, I can. You just had to do that, huh? Okay, that doesn't work. What the? Why does it? Why can't I? Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's dumb. Let me throw. Jesus Christ. Give me that. Now what? Is that literally all that's for? 
Where's the rest of the level? Bruh. Ah, oh, it's this way. I'm not gonna make it even. Oh, I, I just barely made it. I wanted that one up. Silver doesn't move fast enough for that. Oh, please, I just need you to get the fuck out of my way. I, I don't even care. Just go up these steps. This looks like where I'm supposed to go. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one of those will eventually hit the enemy. Please. Oh, he can't be. Okay. What? God! Give me. Please. I need you to die. I need you to die. All that does is temporarily piss him off. Oh my god. God damn it. Finally. Okay, now. What am I doing? Uh, I guess I'm going down there. This looks like it's relatively important. Jesus! Run. Did I need to do that? Checkpoint. I don't want any bullshit. Move. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like I'm supposed to be going over here. I'm not gonna make it. What? What? Bruh. No! I don't even care. I just want to get past it now. game decided I was high enough this time around. Oh, son of a bitch. What? Oh my god. Why are y'all still... Okay. Now we're... Oh, I see. Alright, will my psychic kinesis work?
Hold on a second. I don't know. I, I, I felt the need to look back there and figure something out. Oh god. Please die. I fucked up, I shouldn't have done that. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Ah, oh, I just barely made it. Just barely. Figure out where the hell else to go. Um, looks like over there. Oh God! I was like, yeah, that looks about right. Nope. Okay. Look out. I can't see. I know. Okay, I got it. Okay. What the boxes got? Son of a bitch. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to do this one box at a time. Bruh. We're gonna be here for days. Bruh. Jesus. Alright. What am I doing? I can get those. Probably gonna wind up killing me. Something just randomly blew up. This is the only part of the game that had actual stuff going on. Alright, let's move. Okay. Jeez. Alright, Eagle, take me. That was horrifying. It's 12 minutes, by the way. That whole ordeal was 12 minutes. Bruh, what? <sighs> 
That was 12 minutes. And I haven't even gotten to the second half. Like, what? Oh, bruh. This is fucking stupid. I still gotta do Flame Core after this, I think. Kill me. Let's go. Ah, suck. Okay, and I guess I'm using Sonic now. Okay, whatever. And I don't have any of Sonic's power-ups. I just gotta hope. Hey, but temporarily the game's gonna be fun now. Well, somewhat fun. As fun as this game's gonna allow itself to be. But if you never controlled Sonic all the way, well, I guess you had to control Sonic up to this point. Oh, he does know the bounce bracelet. Good. There we go. Oh, he doesn't have the light dash. What the? What the hell? Okay, I guess that was over now. He did those two parts of the level that he was supposed to do. Oh yeah, I could definitely float across that. Cause I ain't doing all of that. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do all that. Fuck them. And now the camera. Oh god damn it! I need something to throw. Can I have that? Thank you. Take me. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Where are you taking me? Oh. oh damn.
can't move. Go, go away. Oh no! Okay. I thought they were gonna hold me on that one. So much happening. They're gonna give me a shitty score. That took too long. Fuck you. Piece of shit ass game. That literally just ruined it for me. Like what? The game when silver like they have so many objects on screen, the game becomes a super slog and like slowdowns a bitch. But the missiles and bullets can still move at normal speed, so Silver's just getting hit. And then by the time I recover, I gotta, like, move out of the way fast enough to make sure I don't get hit. And then I gotta pick up an item nearby, or I gotta use some way to stun the enemy. Which means I gotta be close enough to the enemy to stun him. But that's not smart, because I'm right by the enemy. Which means I can get hit! Police! So, ugh, fucking, I, I can't. But thankfully, we only have one more level than a boss left. Ah, uh, also, at least he's dead. Game over, yeah! Wait. There's still a way to change this. If we return to an earlier point in time, we'll be able to save her. And if you fuck up at that point, you can just do it again. Obviously, there's infinite amount of times to do this. Death is a, death is a non-liability here. Death has no consequences so long as we have the Chaos Emeralds. Like, in retrospect, it doesn't. Chaos Control! There we go. And the 
unless you play a happy jingle to celebrate. I could handle this myself. Besides, you've got somewhere to go. Right? Oh, the sound effects? You. I'll make sure to change Elisa's fate. And that in turn should change your future too. Wait a minute, so shouldn't we be helping Sonic? Thank you, Silver. Shouldn't we be helping Sonic? Just save her. Shouldn't we? Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, you just go to YouTube and type it in. And then you can download it from YouTube and MP3 converters. Wait, why don't we just jump in the same portal that Sonic just jumped in? Wouldn't that just pop us to where Sonic is? Uh, okay, I guess not. I guess we're just here I now. I know how to save our world now. We don't have to change the past. I'm sure of it. The, yes, we... What? Yes! So you have a plan? Well, then let's hurry. I sense his flames. I'm not sure this made much sense, but whatever. But now we gotta do literally the most frustrating level in this entire game with Silver. With Silver, this level sucks. This level can suck a fat one. Oh, God. There's so many jokes about, all, about it already, but where do they put those emeralds? They put those emeralds in their butt, right? Oh, it's funny. No, fuck you. It's funny. All right. Flame core with silver. This shit's stupid, bruh. I'm coming. Okay. First of all, we got, I got to grab some uh, food, so I will be back. I will be right back.
let's do it. All right. Let's do it. S stupid fucking. Iblis. No. We're already starting off the bullshit. God, fuck this level of silver. What the? What the fuck? Oh, for that. Oh, oh, that, that's why. <laughs> Bruh. put so many enemies in an area where silver no like can't fight <clears throat> please just open the fucking door thank you that did.
use the foot that comes floating ah. along with the lava flow. Why would I not do that? Why was that a hint? I thought they were giving me a hint because it was something I was supposed to do that I wasn't aware of. They didn't give me enough footing. I noticed that the minute I looked down, I was like, wait a minute. What's up, Rosales? Move forward. To be honest, I probably could have floated across that. Oh, God, checkpoint. randomly throw the things at you so I can get hit yep on some bullshit yeah okay yeah I see what they're gonna do oh I see god damn it there's no way I would have known that either and they didn't give me enough footing to last. Yeah, they didn't give me enough footing. I'm stuck. They kept Silver sort of at the bottom here. Okay. No, I got a way up. Oh, uh, I had a way up. I'm gonna get hit randomly. Let's see, I need that. Oh god, I don't have enough psychokinesis. I'm dead. Oh 
I'm gonna get hit by a random thing. Him up, please. Oh my God. I actually probably could have floated across there myself, but I don't want to risk it. I knew it. I knew they weren't gonna give me that for free. Not for free. Oh my god. I hate it so much. didn't give me much to work with here, huh? What's up, Midnight, by the way? So how do y'all feel about Silver's power? They gave him telekinesis, but he still can use it for speed. Like, the difference. Or should he have just been a speedster? I like the idea of telekinesis. It's dope. The problem is this game can't implement it right. I have to be super close to the enemy in order to even remotely think about hitting them. And even if I am super close, then um, then I risk getting hit. And obviously, the worst part about all of that is that silver, like, if there's enough items held up on screen, then the game will literally lag. So it can't handle the idea that silver's so close to all this shit. But the problem is, when the slowdown happens in the game, Silver himself doesn't slow down. So we wind up in these situations where freaking... Wait, what? What's the point? What, what was the... I was already here! Why, why do I... 
me platforms to get to where I was. Oh, because I got to defeat every enemy. Oh, no, no, I don't. Then what the fuck am I doing here? Looks like I do. I think it's fine that they gave Silver uh, giving psychic powers, it just needs to work for the sake of game, uh, in terms of gameplay. Yeah, because the idea isn't bad. Like, I'm glad that he wasn't just another, like, oh, I'm just like Sonic character, like Shadow is. I mean, at least they changed Shadow up a little bit, thankfully. But not every character needs to be the fastest fucking character be automatically because they're a hedgehog. You can make other characters have different abilities. That's fine. I, I have no problem with that. The issue is the fact that Silver Psychokinesis has so many blind sides. It can't aim worth the damn. The slowdown is terrible. Enemies can still hit you while you have your psychic hold on stuff. You have to be an inch close to an opponent in order to do remote damage. Enemies that are stunned can get psychic kinesis, but obviously other things can't. It makes you completely vulnerable to shit. Like, that's the problem. Also, what's up, Ethan? Please, just get through there. Wait, what? why? But Amy's not a fed fast hedgehog. I mean, it depends on which game you're playing. Amy can have the same powers as Sonic and Shadow in some games, but in other games, she's just, uh, they, she's got, like, her own gimmick going. I, I can't see. The, the camera's fucking me up. Where am I going? I guess up there. Because I guess that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there he is. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going after that, though. The camera has not given me the ability to see that yet. That did nothing. Okay. Whatever. doesn't want me to have it. Bruh, what? It's what? I don't... What? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. I'm not sure what the difference was, but okay. Why well, say here it is? I can't. Where am I going? Where am I going? Ha! 
Hmm, was that supposed to do that? I think so. I don't fucking know. Wait. Do I break this? Will the door just open? Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, come on. There's an enemy under it. Of course there is. Fuck out of here. Are you be done? Why would you think that, Terrell? Have you played? Oh yeah, Terrell hasn't played this game. That's right. What is that ball of flame? Is that the power of Iblis? No, the they pad out the last two levels of silver like a motherfucker. Look at my timestamp. It's at 18, and I haven't died yet. It seems like the attacks come in regular intervals. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta, we gotta take cover here. All right, we gotta wait. I'll have to get closer and use my power directly. Where's the attack? There it is. All right, now go. Let's just wait for him to attack. I'm not gonna sit here and... Yeah, I didn't want to risk it. I probably could have made that, but I'm not I'm not gonna even I'm not playing with it. Yeah, I'm not playing with any of it. Wait, just wait. Wait for him to do stuff. Alright, cool. Oh, now what? Let's go. Uh. Well, okay. I I guess that's it. Just as I expected. Not what I expected. Um, oh, there it is. Um, okay, I guess this is it. The level probably should have ended after that. Now all I have to do is take him down. Okay, there we go. That was horrible. Great. I don't care what score I get. I'm just glad I'm done. That's surprisingly better than I thought. Surprisingly better. Oh well, time to fight the funky ass boss. We've been playing for an hour and 45 minutes. It feels like it's been three. Okay. Come on, Iblis. This time I'll finally stop you. Okay. All right. Full form Iblis. Let's get it. I can't remember his fight patterns at all. Typing on my phone, autocorrect, keep messing up. I thought we, I thought the OC we make in the game will have the ability to um, have the ability of Sonic here of the Sonic characters. No, I'm glad Silver can't do what Shadow and. I'm actually glad Silver can't do what Shadow and Sonic do. I mean, I do wish he was a little bit faster, obviously, for the sake of gameplay. But I'm glad that he's not just another Shadow and Sonic clone. It looks like he's getting closer to his final form. You'll be in trouble if you let him get close. 
Try to keep him away from here. Huh. That did nothing. There's actually a legitimately good way to speed run this. I just forgot what it was. And there's no way for me to remember. Kage no Bushu no Jutsu! Oh wait, shit. I almost fucked myself up on that one. I really don't know what to do at this point. He's trying to destroy this foothold. Silver, don't let him get you too. Oh, okay, cool. That was anti-climactic. Now, Silver. Now what? Ah. Okay, whatever. I, that was that was weird. Huh? I'm surprised that worked. God. Nice direct hit. Oh shit! The platform just gives up. The camera fucks you over. Here I come, Iblis. This will be your end. I can't believe that actually worked. You'll be in trouble if you let him get close. Try to keep him away from here. I would say, yeah, I don't think that'll work. He keeps them circled around him. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Come on. Direct hit. Oh, there's still more. Why that work? He sends out waves of flames, one after the other. You need to predict the next one and evade it. I can't see because of the damn text box. Okay. Oh shit, that's the wrong one. Stay in the center. Apparently, that's what you do. Now, Silver. All right. Jesus Christ, Blaze. Got him. Let's finish this. In retrospect, that doesn't do a lot. Silver, I'm pressing the button. You psychokinesis, please. What the? 
Why would you do that this close to me? Come on, do the thing where you try to destroy the foothold. Will you do it already? Jesus! Silver, what the fuck was that? There's so you little foothold for yeah. Oh god Here damn it. Comes, what do I do? I can't remember what I do. Ah, yeah, that's what I do. And there we go. I can't believe that worked, I'm gonna be honest with you. In all that honesty, I don't think that should have worked. That doesn't make any fucking sense, but all right. Come <laughs> on. 
Why is he this close doing it? You're the one fighting this boss, Silver, not you and Blaze. Awesome that would, as awesome as that would be. Come on. Come on. Also, what's up with that bone crunching noise that happens towards the whatever? Alright, now I know he's gonna try to do the big one. He's going to try to destroy the foothold from a distance this time. Here it comes, Silver. Bitch. That's the only way I can think to dodge that. I don't know what else to do. Once he destroys his foothold, the game's over. Yeah, I don't know. There's no more level left. That's it. You just gotta deal with it. Once he destroys that foothold, it's over. The boss fight's over. You can't beat him after that. Wait a second. Hold up. I don't think that was gonna work. Oh, I'm surprised it actually hit him. I knew that wouldn't do damage. It can only it only as if it hits his fucking face. Yeah, like that. Maybe you're throwing too many rocks at a time, wasting them because of invincibility planes. Now, Silver. Please, let's finish this. Where is the? Oh. It would have been kind of cool. Oh, God. Wait, he's doing this attack so early. What the fuck? Do that attack so early. I just want this rain. Right. 
No, don't jump for that. Okay, now what? What? I don't know what to do, dude. He destroys the entire... Wait a minute. I won. The other times that I fought him, he destroyed the platform. And I couldn't win because there was no more platform. But, but there was no platform. And I had no choice but to die because he destroyed all the platform. Which makes those other two fights unwinnable. But I won this one because... That took too long. Fuck you, Sil- <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, it's over. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm just kidding. Eternal Sun! The living flame that has been entrusted to the royal family! Fall into slumber with my soul, Iblis! You cursed flames of disaster! That took too long to beat a boss you have fought against your whole life, Silver. Ah! ah! No! Why won't it accept me as the vessel? Probably because you suck! Ah! 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 Please! I'll take Iblis. Don't worry. My soul is already alit with flames. What? This doesn't make any sense. Also, this seems like a pretty Why? crucial plot make point. Quick. Use your chaos control to stop time, then steal it into a different dimension. You can do all that? I can't do that to you. Didn't we already go through this? No, we didn't. Again, this is a pretty heavy plot point for Blaze, and the game doesn't even tackle it remotely. I wouldn't know what to do without you. You fought alongside me to save the world. Again, we never tackle this friend, shit. Right? You're still so naive. But I I've always liked that about you. This is a pretty crucial time to do something like this. And throughout the game, Silver spends most of his time with Amy and Sonic and Shadow. Like, Silver and Blaze barely talk to each other like this, at least on this personal of a level. So what? Like, what? Whatever. It's over, I don't care. He won, but at one cost.
I won, but at what cost? Oh, yeah, that's right. No cost. Yay! At least we get the good song. Alright, that was Silver's stupid ass story mode. Honestly, the story idea isn't bad. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. It's not horrible. There's some problems with it, but there's problems in every story in Sonic 06. Honestly, I like the idea though. I like the idea of what would happen if a character has to go through a dilemma where their main target is Sonic. But the problem is, the only reason that's the case is because they're morally misguided. So the character doesn't know what to do. Because the character knows everything that's going to happen before it happens, but now he's moralistically conflicted over whether to save the lives of many or save the lives of a few. That's an actually really good plot. The problems is literally everything else. And gameplay-wise, Silver's moves are a good idea. Not every hedgehog needs to do the spin dash, the light speed dash, or all the other crazy Sonic shit that Sonic does. I'm glad there's a hedgehog that does different shit. And to use psychokinesis is actually a pretty cool idea. That like it's barely used a lot, and there's a there's a system there. The problem is that the system is busted. This was the Xbox 360 slash PS3's first Sonic debut game. So, I guess what they were trying to do was show off the physics engine. That was its main point. So to show off the physics engine, literally everything in this game has some form of physics to it. Whether it be the wooden chairs, the barrels, the, the crates, all of it. It all is taken as a personal item. The problem here is that when Silver utilizes those items, they're never consistent. Things that he throws can go all in different spots. There's no aiming reticle to show which enemies can lock onto so that Silver can just hit them. It's going off pure RNGesus that you actually hit the opponent when you use your psychic kinesis attacks. So you have to rely on stunning your opponents because that's the more direct approach. Because then you can ensure that you can one, kill an enemy, and two, at least try to throw that enemy at another enemy and to kill literally two birds with one stone. The problem with that, Silver has to be ridiculously close to the enemy's range in order to even remotely stun them, which makes hitting them a chore. And remember, Silver's not the fastest of the hedgehogs, he's the slowest, which means if the enemy attacks Silver, he'll be blindsided. And the problem with the physics engine is that it takes a bunch of items into consideration, plus enemy attacks. Enemy attacks count as a completely different frame rate, so the enemies are attacking at like 60, while the, the items that I'm controlling are moving at like 10. So the problem is, if Silver's using Psychokinesis and Slowdown happens, he's wide open for when an enemy attacks him. He can get hit dead on, with no consequence on the enemy. So the idea is like, yes, you can grab a certain amount of items with your Psychokinesis, but the opponent can also still attack you during all of that. And remember, in order to use Psychokinesis, those items that you pick up have to be slowed so that Silver can pick them up using his psychic powers. Which means while he's picking those up, there's still bullets and missiles and all other bullshit that's moving at this regular frame rate. And it'll blindside and hit Silver while he's wide the fuck open. Like, it's a mess! There's certain areas that don't work when Silver uses his psychokinesis. There's certain areas that do work. And then when they do work, Silver has a very limited power bar. So you can't use your psychokinesis while you're floating, for example. Because if you do, it uses up more of your power bar and releases it. It's basically the reverse problem that Silver has for Sonic. Sonic's problem is that the power bar isn't used at all. Because it's broken. Like, this game is riddled with problems, obviously. It's 06. But to actually sit there and, like, see them happen is a whole nother experience. And it makes you sad because, in reality, this isn't a bad idea. The execution's so bad, it fucks the idea up. And the, exec and the release of the game. Like, all of it. I do like this song, though.
And obviously there's some problems using a character like Blaze since obviously we get introduced to her in Sonic Rush. But I'm guessing because both of those games came out around like close to the same time, the producers and the story writers probably didn't know what to do with Blaze's story. So they just gave her, they just went ahead and gave her two different scenarios. One where she's in another dimension, the other where she's, um, where she's with Sonic. Although the problem here is that Blaze is introduced to the cast in some way, shape, or form. When Blaze already says Blue Hedgehog, she's saying it on the sense that she already knows who Sonic is. The problem here is that in Sonic Rush, she's from a whole different dimension. Here, she's from the future. So nobody knows where the fuck Blaze is coming from, and the game quickly doesn't want to deal with it either, so it just sort of throws Blaze away before they, she's got the chance to stick around. The problem is, the game never builds up to her sacrifice. Like, yes, Blaze works with Silver for a lot of the levels, but for the most part, Blaze and Silver don't have an in-depth conversation about their own friendship. The, the game just sort of pairs the two together and goes, well, these two are friends now, accept it. And for the most part, Blaze isn't present in a lot of them. For example, when I go to Crisis, uh, when I go to Flame Core, why wasn't Blaze playable in at least one part of that level? You would think she would be, but she's not. For some reason, Blaze is just not playable for any parts of Flame Core, regardless of the fact that one, she uses flames, and two, she's Silver's partner. You would think, use her. Which is more canon, Sonic Rush or Sonic 06? Oh, see, uh, not 06, uh, Sonic Rush. Thanks to Generations. I'm Generations is a love letter, so I don't really like care to talk about it. it. I would much rather count Sonic Rush. That's the more, the, the better version of Blaze anyway. But we're done here. And you're probably thinking, oh, well, what about Shadow Story? I'm not doing Shadow Story tonight. I'm not, I'm sorry guys. So yeah, this is gonna have to be one of those short streams, but I'm not doing such Shadow Story tonight. One, because I've already stressed out on Silvers to this much, and two, I'm not doing Shadow Story because, uh, I don't know, it'll fuck with the dynamic. Like, I did Sonic Story, I did those in two parts, and I was able to end those in two parts. I did Silvers, I ended those in two parts. I think Shadow should probably wind up being two parts. I have a feeling, a creepy feeling Shadows is probably gonna wind up being more, but it is what it is. But yeah, I want each part, to, I want two parts for each character. That's kind of ideally what I want. Um, and then obviously the final part will be next. And four Forces just wrote Blaze off. But um, yeah, that that is Silver's story. Again, like I said, Silver's story and his physics behind what he does aren't bad ideas. The execution's just so bad. There's nothing you can really do with it. Now, I wouldn't have mind if Silver could, like, glide across, kind of like how Rosalina glides in Mario games or something like that. Like, I wouldn't have mind that if he had just, like, moved around like that. That actually would have been kind of cool. But they have him run in this very slow jogging pace. Anyway, uh, 06 is initially a re reboot until uh, Generation did that one thing. Still love the segment in 06 review from Sonic. From Johnny, I feel the same way. I would rather accept Blaze Rush uh, since it was Blaze's first appearance in 06 retconning Earth story. Uh, all right, so we're done with Silver Story, which means, again, all that's left is Shadow Story. Eight hours and 13 minutes, according to this thing. Sonics was 10 hours and 19 minutes. <clears throat> Although, I have no idea how it would know. Oh, last save time. Oh, I think that's just time. Yeah, that's not, that's not like how many hours played. I think that's just time. All right. So, we get back into Shadow. Also, the problem I have with the reboot thing is that Shadow is still using... The plot from uh, from Shadow the Hedgehog, which was the game that happened before this. So you can't really say it's a reboot because he's still using that plot. Alice the Edgiest. Alright, so 
Goggles, I don't know if you're in the chat or not. I don't think he is. But if you're in here, listen up. And Media, I, I know he's not in the chat, but if he's here, I'm grabbing you two so that we can do this goddamn Shadow the Hedgehog uh, part. Because we're jumping back into Shadow the Hedgehog shit. So, uh, yeah, it's just supposed to be a reboot, but Sega just, like a soft reboot at least, yeah. So, with that being said, we've got literally one more left, and then we've got the final story mode left, and then we'll be done with this shit forever. Oh my god. I'll be honest, though, um, I actually did pretty well with Silver Story. Like, all things considered, I actually did really well with the story. I mean, besides, like, towards that end, things got a little stupid. But, for the most part, I was doing really well, like, speed-wise. Because, I, I know a lot of players who play this game, who played this game for, like, the first time, or have played this game and picked it up for streaming purposes, and I see them struggle with Silver. Like, I went through Silver Story Mode relatively easy, but... Other people, when they do this, they are going through legit pain. Like, I'm watching it. So, all things considered, I think I'm slightly above average when it comes to this. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I'm a little above average. And then I got through with Sonic Story relatively quickly, so all that's left literally is Shadows. But again, like, a lot of this comes from the pain of, uh, of doing this a lot. Also, fun fact, um, it's very stupid. But if you notice, Silver has a green uh, outer glow around his little head sprite uh, under the progress section that says five lives left. Sonic has a white one for some reason. And then Shadow has a red one. I, I don't know why, but that's what happened. But uh, yeah, so next time we return, though, we'll be doing Shadows. And uh, Donnie actually presented us with a little something that I think will be cool to show off. Just for Shadow Story. Um, he made this. Bam, look at that. So the next time we come back and we do Shadow Story, we'll be presented with this beautiful overlay made by Donnie. Everybody say thank you to Donnie, please. He went through a lot of work to make this happen. But yeah, when we come back, we're gonna be doing Shadow the Hedgehog shit again. But, uh, yeah. With that being said, um, tomorrow is Thursday. We're supposed to be doing a stream. I don't know a stream of what. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Have no fucking clue. It's a surprise. I got to talk with the others and see exactly what they want to do. But we'll be getting with the others and we'll be doing a mystery stream. So, uh, yeah, get ready for that. Um... But yeah, let's... And then Sunday, obviously, we got Persona 5 Royal. Only this time we'll be doing Royal content, so that'll be interesting. For now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do an advertisement, and then we're going to raid and get the hell afterwards. Who's on? Oh, yeah, there's K. Actually, who else is here? Oh, KG. Yeah, we'll show KG some love just because he's got less. Yeah, he's got like five viewers. Yeah, we need to... We got to give love to KG. All right, we're going to go ahead and raid KG Prestige. Get ready to show KG some love, and bam. All right, then.